Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 10. In this video, we're going to be learning how to program our fuel injector data information into our Holly EFI software. We're going to be taking a look behind the scenes of what goes into all of the various parameters that we program and how the Holly goes in and turns a fuel flow rate command into an injector pulse width based on the static flow rate, the minimum injector pulse width, the latency table, and the linearization tables. So there's going to be a lot of things to cover in this video. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our fuel injector programming within our Holly EFI software. The fuel injector programming needs to be accurate so that when we're commanding here in our main fuel table a certain amount of fuel flow rate in units of pound per hour, we're going to be delivering that to the engine. Now the ECU needs to understand what the injector size is going to be as well as some other critical information so that it knows how long to open and close the injector for to deliver the amount of fuel flow rate that we're requesting. There's going to be some lookups and calculations going on here. I'm going to go through the various parameters that we need to know and going through how all the calculations are performed so that you understand what each section and parameter represents and why it's super important that we work with all of the injector data and have it as accurate as possible. So the very first thing we're going to do here, let's jump into our system ICF here. We're going to go in from our system parameters, go past our ECU configuration into engine parameters, our second option here. We're going to move down here into fuel system, fuel injector information, and injector set one. This is where we program all of the fuel system representation that we have for the vehicle and the fuel system that we're working with. Now, I'm going to go through some of the various settings here, but I'm going to skip over what we're going to be finding here in the table and just focus on a couple key sections that I want to talk about right now so you understand what these represent and how the fuel calculations are being performed based on some of these parameters that look very basic, but there's a lot more going on to how it's calculating things. So the very first thing I want to talk about is this parameter right here. We can see rated fuel per injector. This is going to be what the static flow rate is of each injector that you have fitted into your fuel system. They're all going to be the same. In this case, it would be 48 pound per hour. Now, this is what's known as the static flow rate. The ECU, the Holly ECU, will know how to translate what the flow rate is to an injector pulse width based on this static flow rate value. Now, to illustrate this, I have coming up on the screen here a graphical plot of what this value here represents. So we can see this is going to have injector flow rate in pound per hour on our left axis. On the bottom axis, it's going to be injector pulse width. Now, the green line that we find on this is going to be represented as the injector slope or static flow rate. That is going to be the value that we have here as the rate at flow per injector. So that's going to be what this represents here. So it's going to know, if it's looking through that green line there, if we're commanding a certain amount of pound per hour, jumping into our table here, commanding a certain amount of pound per hour in our table, it's going to go onto that slope or that line and figure out where the flow rate's going to be and then look up on the bottom axis what the injector pulse width is going to be. So it's going to be a direct lookup. So while this seems like a very, very basic parameter to enter here, it is going to have a lot more going on in the background. So every ECU, it's not going to just be Holly, uses the static flow rate or the injector flow rate to look up what the pulse width should be based on the flow rate size of the injector. So this will be the very first parameter that we need to know. Now the problem is going to be when we actually have the injector pulse open to spray the fuel, it's not going to deliver the exact amount of fuel flow rate that we're expecting. We're going to find that we have a static flow rate and a dynamic flow rate. And coming up on the screen, this will help illustrate what I'm talking about. So the green line represents the injector slope or the static flow rate. That's our rate at flow per injector value right here. The orange line, this is going to be our dynamic flow. So we can see we're going to be short. So if we command the green lines are in a perfect world, what we're going to find if we uh, go. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.